I am pleased, therefore, now to declare the Scottish Parliament open and, in so doing, to present to you this newly commissioned mace, a modern embodiment of an ancient symbol of power, legitimacy, and the relationship between Parliament and Crown. Let it serve to remind all of the lawful authority vested in the Scottish Parliament from today. I'm Michael Lloyd, I'm a silversmith and I was privileged 25 years ago to be given the commission to make the mace for the Scottish Parliament. The Queen announced that she'd like to present the mace, um, probably not giving a great deal of time to allow you know, the selection of the silversmith, the judging process. There were 10 of us who were invited to submit designs. I wanted the design really to be a torch to the values that the people of Scotland would give to Parliament. I chose justice, compassion, integrity and wisdom, which I felt covered a great number of issues that um, one would hope really decisions were going to be made made of, you know, that they would be looked at sort of possibly long term and they weren't overtly political. I felt these rules were in the air. They were what, you know, if you went trying to, trying to think what people wanted, I felt this was, this was what we were asking the members of parliament to carry with them. I was actually, I was rather expecting the committee to say, you know, he's not to choose what these are. You know, we'll, we'll have a committee deciding this, but Donald Dewar gave me the go ahead with this, which I was delighted about. These values really, for me, with the, the starting point of, of making the mace, they were the thing that made the mace really significant that possibly gave it gave it presence certainly gave it a lot of a lot of meaning and as an object um, and I know one of the comments where you know in this age do we want do we want sort of ceremonial bits of silver you know it's a bit it's a bit blingish but I think a I think objects made with passion and love you know are special that they they can sort of absorb the history that surrounds them. So what the value of the mace is, I think, is a, is a question of time. Tuesday the 18th of June. This has been a very special day for me. I have since the 18th of March, when I was invited to submit the designs, been completely obsessed with the mace. This morning I started, started off without any great expectations, a fairly tricky soldering of the two halves of the mace um, and have spent most of the morning fitting, refitting, making sure all the angles are right. Um, head and shaft laid on the hearth, fluxed up and soldered. On lifting the work from the hearth, I find I was no longer holding a couple of pieces of my work, but I had the nation's mace in my hands, which has taken on its own presence. I feel strangely detached from it, and I'm treating it with considerable reverence, something I've not experienced before with my work. <laughs> this is the most significant piece of work I've been asked to make and it's been a period of intensity in the workshop. I hope this comes true in the work and perhaps explains its power over me. The whole point really about making a one-off piece, I think is the, the energy and the idea is something which can be very much reclaimed by the viewer. There's a lot of me in it, um, but it belongs so much to the nation.